I will show you five scanning hacks you can use to solve medium level Sudoku like this. Hack number five will not only help you solve the green cell, but it'll also reduce your solve time the most. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, you see how you have four digits in columns two and three and also in rows seven and eight. You want to focus on these four cells because these have the most restriction. And this is going to be scanning hack number one. You want to look for those obvious naked singles. So in here, you look and see, okay, one, two, five, six. Do I have any repeats? If you have a repeat, so I have a repeat five right there. This won't be a naked single. I have a repeat six here. Won't be a naked single. Two, four, five, nine, same thing. The fours are repeated. Now you come down here, five, well, yeah, five, two, four, nine, one, three, seven, eight, no repeats. So you have eight different digits looking at this cell. We know we can solve this cell for a six. And if you look right here, the fours are repeated. And then in these parts, uh, the ones are repeated as well as these sevens. So we we're able to get a nice naked single. And this is what I think Yoshi wants you to start with is to find that because it's going to open up uh, some nice solve path for us. And greetings, friend. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you to Smart Hobbies. Subscribe, tap the bell for notifications if you want to turn your passing interest in Sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby. I am featuring in Fridays this month wonderful puzzles from Logic Masters India. This is a classic Sudoku by Yoshi Broshi. Thank you, Yoshi. I have not featured this puzzle before. And in case you're wondering, the Hudoku rating system, uh, basically, if you put the puzzle in Hudoku, it'll tell you what strategies you need and it gives them a certain amount of points. You'll notice that this puzzle is rated uh, medium because of the types of strategies you need and the point system. If you got above a thousand, then we'd be in the hard range. So this is medium Sudoku. These hacks are going to help you with the medium Sudoku. So scanning hack number two, look for pointing pairs. So now we have this six here, right? We have this six and this six cuts across and it means the sixes are limited in block for these two cells. And so what I just did is called Snyder notation. Anytime in a three by three block, you have two possibilities for a candidate. You can mark it. And in case you solve one of these cells, we can solve the other right away. These sixes are in the same column. And so what it means is since the sixes are limited to column one here in block four, a six cannot be anywhere else in column one outside of that block. So you cannot have a six here anymore or here. You notice you already have a six there. So it can't be in that spot. And then the six from block seven covers those. What this does now with these pointing pair and this six, the only place for a six in block one is right there. And so then we can see these and we can do a couple more Snyder marks with the sixes. You got these two sixes and this six. Snyder marks with six there. And now with these two sixes, we can Snyder six right there. Let's look at the fours. And this is really cool. Okay. Because we put the six here, now we can create a pointing pair of fours. Because this four cutting across row three, come up column two. Fours now are limited to these two spots. And with this four and this four, Two spots for four right there in block seven. Okay, it's time for scanning hack number three. I'm already to my third hack. I'm giving it all the way to here. Look for double pointing pairs. So this is a single pointing pair. I mean, it's a pointing pair, but now there's an opportunity when two digits are acting as a pointing pair for the same two cells. This is what I'm talking about. You see the five right here. This five cuts all the way down column four. And so the fives are limited to these two cells in block eight. That makes them a pointing pair. And with this five, the only place fives can go in block seven is right there. And now let's look at the twos. You see the twos in the same column as the five. And so now the two comes down and it ends up being in the same two cells as a pointing pair as the five. So whenever you see Snyder on top of each other, is what I call it, this is a Sudoku hidden pair. And what it means is that the twos and fives cannot be anywhere else in block eight. So they're the only two possibilities for these two cells. And you can eliminate all the other possibilities. Hidden pairs also act as pointing pairs. And we're going to use that to our advantage. Now this 
2 it comes out this way, and you have a pointing pair of 2s in block 9. And this creates a pointing pair of 2s here in block 6. And with these 2s in this pointing pair, now the 2s cover and are in our green cell. Maybe that's a 2. We will find out. And so then you have the 2s here, and you got these 2s. And so now the 2s can be in one of these 2 spots. And also, with this 2, and these twos, uh, we can't do any pointing pair. Well, yep, we can here because we got these twos and we got these twos. We can do the twos right there in block five. All right, scanning hack number four. Look for the locked ripple. So we did naked single or singles. We did pointing pairs and then now double pointing pair. Now I'm talking about a triple pointing pair or really a lock triple, a pointing triple. All right, first we want to look, where can the fours be here in block five? Because of these two fours and this four, they can be in one of these two cells. So you think, right? Well, remember, the two and the five are limited to those two cells. And so now you have these three candidates are a naked triple. They can only be a four, eight, or nine. That's what's left in block eight. And so we can remove the four from there, and we can remove the eight from there. And you'll notice that the fours are limited to these two cells. Well, this is not only a naked triple for block eight, it's also a naked triple for column four. And when you have that situation, that's called a lock triple, a triple that is for two different houses. And so now a four, eight, nine cannot be anywhere else along column four. So we can remove the four from here. I call it displacing the Snyder. And now we can solve for four right there, displacing that two. And we're gonna disambiguate the five two here in block eight you may be able to improve your Sudoku skills faster than you think. Click on the pinned comment to join the Smarty Party. I'll send you exclusive monthly puzzle packs, other exclusive content to give you more ways to solve hard Sudoku. Did you know Yoshi Broshi made my first exclusive puzzle pack? You want to solve more puzzles from setters like Yoshi, right? Click on the pinned comment below. Okay, let's remove the colors here. And now we can look at the threes. You got this three here coming up. And so the threes are limited, these two cells in block two. And so it's another pointing pair of threes here in block one. I love how Yoshi did this because now it creates a pointing pair. It's like you're going around the corner here with these pointing pairs in block four. And now with three and this three and this three, we have threes limited in block five. And this creates a really interesting situation. You know, my first hack was about doing and finding naked singles. Well, now we create another naked single. Look at this cell right here. What could it be? Well, it could be a one, but it can't be a two. It can't be a three anymore because of the pointing pair of threes. It can't be a four because of this, these fours. It can't be a five, six, seven, eight, or nine from this locked triple. So this cell can only be a one. And we found that by using all those pointing pairs. Nice little scanning hack there. Now with the ones here, you end up with ones as a pointing pair in block four. And since they're on top of the sixes, you got yourself another hidden pair. Nice job, Yoshi, for putting that in there. And then with these ones and this one, we can cover some ones right there. And these ones and this one can cover some ones right there. Remember this hidden pair, one six, the ones act as a pointing there. And now what this created is another locked triple. All right, we got the one six here, two, four, seven, nine there. This gives us a three, five, eight. And we know this can't be a five because of the five in column two, and this can't be a three. And so you have the locked triple here. And since three, five, and eight are limited to these three cells, and you have one additional cell, all these others are spoken for. We know we can solve this with certain. This is a naked single nine. Can only be a nine and that's going to open some things up for us right because now this nine comes down and gives us a pointing pair of nines in block nine because this cell can no longer be a nine and then the nines cut across here and you got these two nines so now the nines are pointing pair in block seven and 
you'll notice we have three's company here, right? There's an additional five. So the two nine are a naked triple, or excuse me, a hidden pair. I don't know why I said naked triple. The two nine is a hidden pair. And whenever you see a Snyder mark that doesn't belong like that five, you can just remove it and displace that Snyder. Because now we're going to end up with a five right there because we displaced the Snyder mark. And we can do even one further here. Okay, because look right here. What can this cell be? Okay, it can't be a one. It could be a two, but it can't be a three. It can't be a four or a five. It can't be a six or a seven or an eight. All right, and it can't be a nine now because of that nine. This has to be a two. And so now we can solve this and disambiguate the nine to here. You know, this has to be the four. That's going to be your eight. That's going to be your nine, displacing that Snyder four. And then we can remove the Snyder two mark right there. You can solve naked singles better with this tutorial. Okay, let's look at where what can be down here. All right, we're going to use a null bit of scanning for this cell because we put a lot of digits in column one. We have some digits here. What can this be, right? Can't be a one or a six, can't be a two or a nine. Can't be a three because the pointing pair of three. So that's five digits. It cannot be. So it could be from a four, five, seven, or an eight. Okay. Well, it can't be the five or an eight right there. And it can't be a four because we actually displaced that Snyder four. This has to be your four. So this isn't going to end up being your seven right there. Okay. Awesome. Right. We have the pointing pair of fours, pointing pair of threes. That has to be a seven. And now this seven comes up. There's only one place now to put a seven in block one, which is gonna create a pointing pair of sevens here in block two. And then with this seven and this seven, there's only one place to put a seven in block five. So that's your seven displacing that Snyder six, displacing the Snyder three. And with this six, now we have a one and a six right there. With these nines, we can put a nine right here. And then you may notice, 358, we just added a 5 right there. So this cell now has to be your 5 in block 4. Okay, let's look across row 5 now. Whenever you see this situation, we got a naked pair to finish block 5, and then we have one additional cell. We know we can solve this cell uh, because. These have to be two of the digits, and that's what's ever remaining. Easy way to see it, you can see there's two ones there, so that has to be a one. Other ways, you can look right here and go, this has to be a five, eight. And I have my five right here. But here's your five, here's your eight, and this would be a naked single one. Either way, you can do it. Depends on how you're looking at it. And now with this three, we can displace the Snyder three. Solve this for a three. And with this nine, we can solve this cell for a nine and i'm going to give you a bonus hack it's going to allow you to solve three cells as once all right let's look across row seven what we need we have a two four five six seven nine we need a one three and an eight whenever you have two of those three digits looking at one of the cells so in this case a one and an eight look right here and then one of those digits repeats so the one from here also looks at the cell we can solve all three using my neat naked triple trick this is a bonus hack for you because we know this cell has to be your three the only place the one can go is right there and this has to be your eight if you really like these tips and hacks consider buying me a coffee or click on a super thanks here on youtube i'd really appreciate it okay now what we can do is finish up block seven because the only thing remaining is a three and then we know this has to be an eight or a three and then we can go to my last scanning hack, number five. I told you this would allow you to solve most cells quickly. I call it following the Snyder. That means you want to clean up as much as possible. You want to disambiguate and clean up, and this will get you through the end of the solve the quickest. Look right here. What can this cell be? All right, we know there's only three possibilities looking in block six. So we're going to go two, five, or an eight. I got a five and eight right there. So this has to be a two. And since I put a two here, follow the Snyder, displace the two, and now we can solve that green cell for a two. Okay, and then we can go and see that you have these two fives and this five, we can solve for a five up here in block three. 
and I don't see a five in block six. So that's gotta be a five. That's gotta be an eight to finish block six. Now let's look across row one here. We got a missing a one, four, and an eight. Neat naked triple trick, four and eight right there, four repeated, solve all three. That's your one. That's the only place the four is going. That's gotta be your eight. Let's follow the Snyder. I just displaced Snyder one, displacing that Snyder seven. We're gonna follow the Snyder again as we keep solving cells here. Okay, what do we have left? We need a three and an eight right there. So I'll put the three eight there. And then we can look down column seven. Looks like we need a one, eight, and a nine. So the one can't be in either of those cells. So this has to be the one. Follow the Snyder. Displace that nine. Displace that six. Displace this six. <clears throat> Solve that cell for a six. The only thing left in block or column eight is going to be a three. So we're going to disambiguate. Following the Snyder also means disambiguating those naked pairs and triples as you find them. And now with this eight and this eight, we can solve for an eight right there. And with this nine, we can solve for a nine here in block three. And then we've got the last two digits, a four, and we got a seven. Well, I see my seven, I'm gonna pull it over from block two. So there's your seven, and the last digit is a four. Try out your new scanning hacks on this next puzzle by Yoshi Piroshi. Thank you so much for watching.